We are continuing to track some moderate to heavy rain moving through Colorado Springs from the airport southward toward Fort Carson. So we have the heaviest rain right now. Woodland Park, you've gotten a bit of a break from the rain that's moving through, but we're tracking another cell right now passing right over Highway 24 that is going to clip the city. So you may hear the rain pick back up here within about the next half hour or so. From Colorado Springs southeastward toward Truckton and into northern Pueblo County, we have another band of rain that is going to continue sliding off toward the east. All of these showers are going to push across the plains, eventually moving out of here by early tomorrow morning. So let's go ahead and track it. Skycast is showing the storms that we have out there right now doing just as I mentioned by 3 a.m. They're out across the far eastern plains may have a few lingering showers through early tomorrow morning but for the most part everything comes to an end by 7 a.m. At 7 though may have some areas of patchy fog and light drizzle that we'll have to contend with for the morning drive. We'll keep an eye on that. It should clear out though by lunchtime before we do it all again. The clouds will thicken up by early tomorrow afternoon and by 6 o'clock another round of showers and thunderstorms is expected to develop. The storms that do pop up tomorrow will once again Again, be capable of producing heavy rain. If we get any heavy rain over area burn scars, flooding is going to be a big concern. The storms that we end up with tomorrow just are not going to be moving very quickly, which means we could get a lot of heavy rain for a long duration of time. By 10 o'clock, we'll still be tracking a few scattered storms, and there may be a few storms that last well into your Saturday morning before everything comes to an end. By the time you wake up on your Saturday morning, by 8 o'clock in the morning, should have at least some sun. Tomorrow, as I mentioned, there is the potential for some strong to severe storms, especially in that area of Gree, which is along and slightly east of I-25. We'll keep an eye on that, so stick with your Storm Tracker 13 weather team through your Friday. Temperatures tomorrow will be noticeably cooler. We're only getting to 77 in Colorado Springs. 84 in Pueblo with temperatures also in the 80s for the southeastern corner of the state. Once those storms start rolling through, it's going to make it feel even cooler than it actually is. Saturday, 76 will keep the 70s in place through Sunday. Back in the 80s, though, next week, we'll have an almost daily chance for storms, but really the most active days will be tomorrow and then again on Saturday. In Pueblo tomorrow, 84, 81. Then on Saturday, we'll keep 80s in place through early next week. We'll pop into the 90s briefly on Tuesday before what's back in the 80s will go for your Wednesday and Thursday. Canyon City, 82 degrees tomorrow, 79 then on Saturday. Temperatures on Sunday getting back into the 80s, so we'll start to warm it back up. Some drier air moves in, but we'll keep that chance for storms around Fremont County Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Teller County, a 50% chance for rain tomorrow, a 40% chance on Saturday, a 20% chance on Sunday. Sunday, we're back in the 70s, though, and we'll stay there through the middle to end of next week. A daily chance for storms in the mountains, which is pretty typical for this time of year. I want to give you a quick look at your water report, still tracking some pretty decent flows across the Arkansas River. You can find more information over on RAFTHEBEST.com. And, of course, we'll have another update on the storms and where we may have some fog impacting the morning drive coming ah, up at 4.30 on Good Morning, Colorado. Right. Okay.